meet the WB9COY-1 receive only Raspberry Pi iGate. So now let's look at the equipment that's actually being used for WB9COY-1. So I'm using my ICOM ID880H. This is the Raspberry Pi TNC. I've modified a few things on the um, on this mounting and uh, harnessing of the, the TNC. First I carved out just a little bit in the Raspberry Pi holder to make room for the connector. And the connector I'm using is the MFJ 5060YV butter at ham radio outlet. Now looking at the t finished TNC stud that comes with the kit, I added a little bit bigger one to it. It gave me a little more clearance. As you can see, we're fighting for clearance here at the, at the end. Uh, so I lifted it up about a quarter more inch. So right in here I left this unsoldered and I mounted the board first, screwed it all down, and then I soldered it. So it gives me the nice spacing so you can see the connector is a little bit higher I think than what the instruction manual said. But this gives me a nice little spacing there. And so using the MFJ connector, I'm also using the Wi-Fi. The AirLink Wi-Fi there, you could see that uh, small little Wi-Fi unit there. So what I'm doing right here is tailing the log file. So just nice to know it's the RF log, by the way. So it went together real smooth. Um, my hat's off to the uh, Raspberry Pi TNC uh, developers, great kit. Um, I, I it went together with no issues whatsoever. It worked the first time. Uh, my only suggestion is to maybe get a little more spacing. And so it all puts together, all goes back together with the whole top. And then it goes back on top of the radios and just kind of sits there when I'm not using it for D-Star. Just gating um, stations to the internet. Great little project, great little TNC. So there's WB9COY-1 and we'll check info. And let's see who we've, who we've gated lately. Um, looks like we've got a bunch of people. So the um, looks like the longest gate so far today has been uh, 122.6 miles. So kind of interesting. So have fun with your Raspberry Pi TNC.